Arctic, Russian Arctic, border zone with Norway. I actually had to show my passport to get here. We are 120 kilometers away from Murmansk and some 12 kilometers from Zapolarnoye. A nice industrial town. Let's take a look at some pictures. And what is so interesting here? Well, it's this. It's Kola Super Deep Borehole. It's the deepest man-made hole in the Earth's surface. The whole thing started in 1970, in the time of space race. So the Americans and Soviets also had not only the space race, but also the race into the drilling holes into the Earth's surface. So the Soviets started, as I said, in 1970. And by 1979, they already broke the American record of approximately 9,500 meters and something. So then, until 1983, that was already the second hole they were drilling, they reached 12,000 meters. After that, things went wrong. They had to start again. Well, I have to say, they didn't start every time from the top, but they started from not from the bottom, of course, but like, let's say if they finished at 12,000 meters, they started again at 7,000 or 8,000 meters. That's because the hole didn't go straight, but it went like this because of the, because of the solidity of the material of the rocks, of stones or everything, and those that they were drilling in. And then it was easier just to start a bit more on a bit higher level. Where they were drilling, this is Baltic Shield. It's 35 kilometers thick, so they actually never thought they will get through it. But the goal was to reach 15,000 meters until, if I remember correctly, until 1993. We will look at those things left behind. The whole place is abandoned from 2008 and material and things were also taken from here, probably sold for raw material or something. So we were at the whole tree. They started to drill it after 1994 and they managed to achieve the deepest level. It's like a record level in 1989. And that depth is 12,262 meters. Well, here in front, there were, where, where the wall is missing, there was like a high tower. And in that tower, was drilling machinery that weighted 200 tons. You have to know, there was like 12,000 meters down below of this drilling rig. I don't really imagine how they did it, but uh, here is the, the hole. So on the top there's just one hole, on the bottom there are five. We said in 89, they came to this depth. 
So the diameter of the hole is something like 23 centimeters. So okay, after they came to this record level, they also started later, I believe in 91, and they reached something like 10,000 meters or 11,000. They actually, and then the whole machinery broke again, or just the drilling rig. Then in 1994, they started again, but because of lack of funds, everything was stopped. So the drilling stopped in 94. And then, as we said before, in 95, not 95, but 2008, the facility was abandoned. Oh, that was, I believe that was the quarters, living quarters for the personnel that lived here. Like, if someone was here for like the whole time, it lasted 24 years. Let's take a look at some pictures of this facility. Okay, let's go on through here. These are part of the door. Okay. Oops, radioactivity. Anyway, we won't stay long. And this looks like a living quarter with closets for workers. There's just the hole. Yeah, another closet. Yeah, and the toilets. I think we found the living quarters for the team working here. And what did the team working here, the researchers, found? So, one thing is they found that the temperature at the depth of 12,000 meters is around 200 degrees, not 100, as they calculated. That's why machines were breaking down from time to time. The rocks are not so solid, they are more like plastic, and then the machinery was malfunctioning. One thing that they found was also that there is water 7 kilometers below the surface and this water was caught in there and couldn't come to the surface because there was impregnant rock above it and then the most the biggest discovery was actually that they found fossils of plankton around six kilometers deep that was or is two billion years old so proof of life for two billion years into the past okay I have just a few hours more in the border zone so I have to go quickly to the police control or like border control I don't know how they're actually called to exit the zone and go back to Murmansk Thanks for watching video. If you need some more information about the Kola Super Deep Borehole, 12,262 meters below surface, check the internet. Bye.